know that this very specialized dish that you can't get anywhere, the only way I have access to it is through my family, through my mom. If I don't take it upon myself to learn how to cook Lao food, it's a disappearing culture. I can't live without my Lao food. It is, it is part of my blood, my, my veins, my heart pumps Lao food. And to lose that access, to lose resource, to not have me carry that tradition, not have my lips touch Lao food again, it, it, it breaks me. I'm Ava and I have, I guess, a blog. It's called Cooking Out Lao, where I cook a lot of Lao food. That's all I knew growing up, that's all I ate. So my taste buds, my palate is primed for Lao food. Mommy. Yes. It was pretty extreme in terms of uh, the, the taste. Like Lao Lao food has a lot of flavor. We don't like a lot of bland food. A lot of it is not bland. It is like, it's, 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 it's aggressive. It'll hit you in the face, It'll punch you in the gut. It's like spicy. Um, it has a lot of umami. And so um, Lao food was like the focus, the focal point, the, the glue that held our family together. So lap is like a minced meat salad of any proteins. Um, it's also one of the national dishes of Laos. Lao people eat lap like every day. Like any meat, proteins, um, even vegetables are turned into lap. So um, the dish encompasses uh, herbs, so fresh herbs. You have scallion cilantro, and then you have toasted rice powder. If you don't have it, it's not really a lap dish because it gives that toasty, complex uh, flavor to it. In addition to that, you have like peppers, so ground chili peppers, fresh chili peppers. And then you have umami badak, which is an unfiltered fish sauce, fish sauce. And then I also, for the dish we made, we made a beef one and it was raw beef salad. And that is my ultimate favorite dish of the lap. Um, it's just, it's just bursting with flavor. And I also added beef bile juice and intestinal juice to give it that little bitter element, which is another flavor profile. So there's just so many flavor profile upon flavor. So we're building on aromatics, herbs, spices, and umami. And when you take a bite of it with the sticky rice, because you're eating out of the same rice basket, the communal, rolling that sticky rice in a ball, and you're grabbing that beef, the lap beef, the raw beef salad, and you put it in your mouth, and it, it just, an explosion of flavor. You can pick apart every little ingredients that went into it, and and I, and it just makes my taste buds fire. You know, like all four cylinders, and and just talking about it is already making my mouth water because that's how much that dish means to me and how much how good it tastes. Mm -hmm.